Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to install additional RAM in your Dell Latitude 5440. When working with sensitive electronics, it's a good idea to wear an earth strap around your arm to reduce any chance of static buildup. If you do not have an earth strap, it's still fine, you can still do the repair. I will just give tips along the way how to reduce the chance of static buildup. All right, so make sure the laptop is off. I now flip it round. As a matter of precaution, remove anything that is connected to the laptops, SD cards, ethernet cables, anything like that. Right, I have screws along the sides and one here in the middle. So I just need to use my star screwdriver and unscrew these eight screws. Now don't worry about pulling out the screws. As you can see, when I flip this round, the screws do not fall out, so they stay there. Right, now I need to flip off this back cover. If you've got pry tools, they'll come in handy at this point. Right, so I'm just starting here on the edge, and I'm taking my pry tool, and I'm separating the back cover from the unit. Now I take the pry tool, and notice that I'm just wedging it along the root, and notice how it's opening as I go. Now, if you haven't got a pry tool, just come to the corner here and use your nail and watch what I do. I, I get my nails in there and then I peel it open with my nails. See, I come to the corner there and then I peel it open with my nail. Best practice is not to use a screwdriver because what happens is people try and use a screwdriver, they open the panel, then the screwdriver goes inside and damages the motherboard. Right, so you can see that it's mostly open on the side and all I do is I take my fingers and I guide it. I help it along and there it comes out. Right, there is the RAM that's already installed and there's a space for my upgrade. Before I install the RAM, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Using a balance force, I pull on this tab and I pull upwards. Notice that I've disconnected the battery. Now, as I stated, you don't want to have any static buildup. So at this point, make sure you've got no static on your hands. One way to reduce the static is to just take one hand and touch the floor. Right, now only hold the sides of the chip. Now, depending on the specification of your laptop, you'll need to specify the RAM. What's suitable for this laptop is DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. I'm going to add eight gigabytes because there is already eight gigabytes, so I'm matching it. I'll ultimately have 16 gigabytes. Notice that there's a narrower section here and a wider section here, and there's a lip here separating both sides. Looking at the RAM, you can see that there is a narrower section here and then the wider section there. So all I do is I seat that like that at an angle. Notice that I'm coming in at an angle. Right, I make sure it's seated inwards and then I just push it backwards. It is now in place. And I know it is in place because these clamps on the side are now holding the RAM in place. If for whatever reason you want to remove the RAM, all I do is I pull the sides open like that and you can see the RAM pops out. I can remove the RAM and if I want to put it back in, there you can see it sits at an angle. I press it inwards and push down. You can even hear it clamp inside. Right, now it's time to reassemble. I take the battery connector and reseat it. It is now back in place. I take the cover and I put it over the unit. Using a balance force, I press along the sides. I visually inspect that the back is mating with the unit. There you can see it still needs to be pressed inside. I go around the unit making sure that it is depressed and held in place. I now just need to tighten the screws. I can now turn on the laptop. Notice that the system has detected a memory change. It says the amount of memory has changed. I just select the continue and I click it. Right, the memory has gone from 8 gigs to 16 gigs and it has been successfully upgraded. Thanks for watching and cheers.